And the last piece of the puzzle for factorization, mixed factorization. In other words, anything is up for grabs here. But the key thing you need to do is, what's the first thing you do when you factorize? Look for a common factor, the highest common factor at that. So 12x squared minus y, 12x squared y minus 3y. What's our highest common factor? Well, we've got 3y, so we go, cool, 4x squared minus 1. Oh, look at that. That looks like a difference of 2 squares. 2x plus 1, 2x minus 1. Can we factorize further? No, we can't, so we leave it at that. 5x4 minus thing, minus 80, common factor. Looks like it's probably going to be a difference of 2 squares after that. Oh, it looks like it's going to be another difference of 2 squares. You know, so keep going along. Minus 2x squared plus 2x minus, plus 12. Okay, little hint here maybe. It's a lot easier to factorize x squared than it is minus x squared. So to put these things in our favor, why don't we take out a negative 2 so that our first term in our brackets x squared and then minus 1 x, let's make that a bit neater, minus x and minus 6. So pause and review. It's a whole lot easier to factorize this than if you had taken out a 2 and been left with minus x squared plus x plus 6. And we haven't really factorized these ones here with this negative over here. We haven't had this negative here, so rather take a negative out. So take negative 2 out, and you'll be left with something here, and that's a nice easy one to factorize. Okay, and over here, hint, looks like we're going to need to do some grouping. Doesn't look like a nice common factor, anything like that. So, well, we've got a 2, I guess, we could take out of the whole thing, so that might make life easier, x, y, minus xt plus 6y minus 2t. Looks like we're going to want to take something out so that, look, the x's in both of these, there are 2's in each of these. So 2, I don't know, let's just see where that gets us. Take an x, 3y minus, you know what? If we make these those big square brackets, then it'll make it easier. 3y minus t plus if we take out a 2 here, then we'll also have a 3y minus t. And then there's our that. So we didn't actually have to group. Sad face. I'd hope we would want to group. But hey, maybe. Oh, no, we did group. We grouped right here. What am I saying? We have been grouping. Yeah, we grouped. Yay, we grouping. Yay for grouping. And I don't know either. Uh, x plus 2 big square bracket there. Uh, there we are. Okay, so exercise 12 provides a lot of fun because it's got a lot of different types of things going on. Key thing, key thing that we want to end with, what's the first thing you should look at when you're factorizing? That highest common factor, it's really useful because this one here, if you didn't take out the 5, you didn't really see the difference of two squares, which is going to emerge in x to the 4 minus 16. Okay, enjoy.